Spares the Bears, man, a.k.a. Twinsy Hendrix, man. I got my co-host. Already, man. Comedian MP, Mr. Soft Hands, Short Reach, a.k.a. Quick Smacks. Pat, pat. Let's get it. <laughs> we got our boy uh, Guillotine here, man. Go ahead, so you know, you mean, go ahead, introduce yourself, man. Tell everybody where they can find you at. What's happening, Pipeline? I'm Guillotine. You can find me um, on Instagram, on uh, Twitter, at Guillotine, G-I-L-L-A-T-E-E-N. And, um, and my YouTube page is uh, Mason Diction Entertainment, so, um, LLC. I co-own my brother, uh, my brother Theo Prophet Edwards. So, yeah, we out there. Man, let me tell you, man, this, this dude put in some work. I can see twins. He got his own yeah. camera. <laughs> it's, it's serious. It's like a black Spielberg. Ish. Jesus oh, Christ! He's getting that. <laughs> I don't know if that's hair weave he got on his camera. Or, I don't it's, know. It's a, uh, I believe it's a cattail, man. This is supposed to be like you know, for wind blows into the mic, it can kind of defend oh, it, kind of okay. Bruce Lee it out the no, way. No, we we have animal activists. <laughs> on this show. So you should, cattail. He said cat, cattail. Yeah, I think you should rename that. Okay, no doubt. I mean, I, <laughs> it's, it's actually it's it's an industry too. Now it's it's not actual human. It's not actual like cat fur. Okay, real. you know All what right. I'm saying? It's, All right, just you know, just synthetic. Saying. There we go. I'm no, 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 no cats or animals <laughs> when I'm doing this show. There you go. There yeah. go the disclaimer. You already. So um, give us you know some further um, background how you got started with this man. Oh man, um, I basically got started. I mean, just just as a kid, man. My mother used to drag me to museums, and um, you know, through through school, I just had a lot of professors and teachers really look out for me. Mm -hmm. And I've been, um, you know, my mother would always take me to museums. We would watch documentaries or whatever from everything. Even my father too would would put me D from everything from ancient Rome to slavery to, um, you know, who we were before before slavery. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Um, ancient Egypt. Um, Comet and all of that, and my mother will always ask me my opinion. So that's kind of why I'm, I'm opinionated now, you know, and all through school and everything, having a journalism degree and everything else. So, wow! Shout out he to got all the education. Strong... He got hey, education. First of all, th this is where it comes from. Shout out to the strong black family. Absolutely. You know what I'm saying? Uh, mm -hmm. Definitely directing their kids to further their education towards college too. Also. Well, he looked like he mixed with something. What, what, what you mix with? Oh man, my uh, <laughs> my grandmother's people are Irish. Okay. And um, you know, I get my 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 light tint from my father's side. You know. Okay. So, he, yeah. he light skinned. <laughs> he don't want to say my light tint. He he, he light skinned. It. My my waffle my my waffleness. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, my 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 light tint from my father's side. Yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> light tint. So that means y'all can still drink. Oh yeah, already. Yeah, you got that Irish already. side. That Irish. He look like he take a couple fifths down with no problem, you know, <laughs> and then want to shoot shit. But I'm, I'm re <laughs> staying right there. No, I'm, I'm, I'm reformed now. I have, I have the tolerance of a goldfish. I go out and get me, a, you know, a dog and stole me maybe a couple hennies. I'm good. Okay, okay, okay. okay. That's <laughs> good. I'm relaxed. The old guillotine. <laughs> hey, show me where the motherfucker. At. I'm, <laughs> like, no, I'm relaxed. I'm joking. So. You don't just review films. Now, now this is the thing. You so you started out just reviewing films first. Uh well, yeah. I mean, I started out reviewing books, and so I started oh, books, out with okay. uh, the book called The Alchemist. You know, oh, and I oh saw yeah, that, uh, that's a big one. That Will Smith book. and Pharrell and Oprah mm -hmm. and all them was talking that's about. A good it. And I was book. like, you know, that 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 book, man. I advise anybody to read it because mm -hmm. it has so many life my lessons. Daughter in reading it. Yeah. So many life lessons on. Destiny mm -hmm. on self discipline, mm -hmm. on love, mm -hmm. on you know, prosperity and being grateful. I mean, so so much, so many gems in that, man. What's, what's crazy about that, you, you mentioned that book. Big Sean said on The Breakfast Club that that was the uh, was that the first book he read? That's when he seen Kanye, mm -hmm. and once he read that book, he seen Kanye and got signed. Word, that's what's it, up. it changed his whole outlook on life and how you know to move, you know, in life, you mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So. That, that book is really, really good, man. I got my daughter who's 16. I got her reading it. Mm -hmm. And yeah, she's, she's going to uh, Penn State next, year after next. That's what's up, man. That's what's up. Let's get a round of applause for that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, y'all. Yeah, man. The that child support was... paid off. <laughs> oh, man. It almost off. I got three more to go, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> so when you was viewing the book, so what, 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 led you to the next step you know what i want to break this down mm -hmm. into you know analytics and show people you know the ways you know what i mean or how these messages you know subliminal messages were being conveyed out to us 
Well, I mean, I, I was, um, you know, reviewing stuff in college, you know, where I was just, you know, have to do local stories and stuff like that. And, and, and some of my um, journalism classes, you know, I took a sports writing class and okay. a, a, a lot of my literature class, we just had to keep on critiquing over and over again, critique, critique, critique. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I was going through a few things in my life when I ran into the alchemist. So I, I think they say nothing happens by mistake. And I believe absolutely, that. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, and it's like, man, I just, it was really on my heart. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like I had got, I got this camera. And I was like, yo, I think people really need to hear what this book has done for me. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And and luckily, man, it caught, it caught on. I was like, you know, I, I said a prayer. <laughs> I said I sent up a thug prayer before I pressed upload. And then after I did that, I was like, yo, it would be good if the author saw this. Mm -hmm. And I had, tweeted my, I had tweeted homeboy, man, and Paulo Coelho, sure enough, an hour later, and was like, yo, this is great. And he um he retweeted the link and I and I've been I've been going since then, man. Wow. I see, man. That's man. a hell of a start. That's that's, that's crazy. Time, that's crazy. <laughs> yeah, see, man. another another statistic, like a, another person mm -hmm. just said after they read that book, mm -hmm. things changed in their life. But you know what's so funny about not just that book, but all books. Right. Is that the Agreed. fact that you're able to you know, when you get a perception in your mind or whatever the idea is it's going to exude in some type of way, whether Agreed. it's whether you walk, you talk different. Agree. Mm -hmm. That's a learn, learned individual. Yeah, yeah. And that's with anything. Mm -hmm. So when you believe what it is that you read, you're going to walk and talk that. Yep. yep. And I think that's, that's what's so important about reading. To me, it's kind of hard for me to sit down and actually read a book because I'm more of a yeah. visual person. Sure, sure. But even if it's a couple pages here and there, you you learn you you do something different that you didn't do before mm -hmm. and i want to get i want you to get into the film part so what was sure. the first film that you put on youtube that you was like you know what i want to tell people about this film uh, i think the first movie i reviewed was selma the molly the king movie i believe it was okay. the first one it might have been Mm -hmm. Or it might have been something before that or after that. Okay. But uh, I was just, like I said, man, I was just taken aback by, you know, like I, I think we're privileged mm -hmm. in the sense of, um, like you was just saying, uh, you know, like you take the lessons from a book and they say you are the sum of the five people you hang around the most. And I just read mm -hmm. an article yesterday. They said, you know, if you're not hanging around the right people, you can read a book and just follow a person that you love and take right. their lessons. And they right. now become one of the people in your circle mm -hmm. indirectly. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Absolutely. But but going but going back to your question, I believe it was Selma though. That was I think I think that was the first e either that or the Malcolm X movie. Uh, okay. Spike Lee's uh, Malcolm X. So what what was what was some of your heroes growing up that you kind of idolized? Oh man. Um it was like your top you break it down like your top five. <laughs> your top okay, yeah, five who, who, heroes. I, I know you I know you saw the D V D flash <laughs> yeah, in my mind. That's like, it. Oh damn. <laughs> like, like, uh I, I definitely um Jay Z. Okay. Um Malcolm X mm -hmm. Spike. Um Now that's a wild order. Why did you start with Jay Z right, first? Yeah, I'm sitting here like why did you even I thought you was about to really go into the rap thing. Like what was it about Jay Z? B business wise man mm -hmm. and i think um jay-z is, is just so consistent man and I, I, I actually put out a video a couple of months ago mm -hmm. I, I called it jay-z is top five dead or alive mm -hmm. just because of course we we don't know it's like the whole limb bias jordan argument right i see tupac and biggie as limb bias mm -hmm. they had probably two like biggie what had two albums mm -hmm. Um, Pac had a few, mm -hmm. but I always feel like he was kind of pigeon held. I think he could have, I think he deserved so many, like, I think Tupac deserved better beats. But anyway, um, I, I, I feel like he, I, what I get from Jay-Z most of all is consistency. Mm -hmm. I think he he's the most consistent through and through, and he stayed himself through and through, which is the reason why a lot of us are still rocking with him mm -hmm. today. Correct. I listen to Reasonable Doubt like once a day. And that mm -hmm. album is what? Like 20 years Ooh, old? Right. 21 yeah, I mean, years, years old. Yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah, uh, I'll definitely say uh, Jay-Z, mm -hmm. Spike. Mm -hmm. um, I'm trying to think. I'm trying to think. Uh, now, now, first of all, before you go, so sure. how do you feel now with the ridicule that Spike's getting now, um, especially due to the Chirac movie and, you know, all the spike-ish comics that he's been making in the media and I stuff like that about so. tyler perry and yeah. the whole thing like how, how do you feel about that i i think i think spike i think he's allowed to do it 
because he just put in so much work. I mean, like, this is the guy who, who, who gave us Do the Right Thing. Classic. X. Classic. Um, mm-hmm. Crooklyn. Classic. Uh... I'm trying to think, even a joint about the bank robbers when he kind of like stepped out of his, uh, with Denzel in it. Um, I forgot what it was called, man. Something, man. I, I forgot what it was called. But I, I think Spike needs, he needs that a younger team right now. Because I, I know Spike knows film, but I think he needs a young translator, a young team to kind of translate his messages and bring him from the 80s and the 90s to 2017. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Oh, hey, man. You need hey. a guillotine. Spike, Put it call out me up, man. Spike, call me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm picking up. I'm picking um, up. I, I didn't see the last thing he did. Well, you know what? First of all, because you still got to bring me. You, what's it? You, you, you owe me three more, right? Three more people? Yeah. Okay, um, so Jay Z, Spike. Well, you said Malcolm X. You said Malcolm X was one of them, right? Said, uh, yeah, Malcolm X. So what's, what's the other two? Oh, man. Um. I feel like I feel like you, you hit me with this is such a good question that I, I, I forgot as soon as you said something. <laughs> um, I want to say, can 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 I can I can I make Outcast count as one one person? Or <laughs> yeah, I yeah, say you can. Three you can because they all one band. You um, know they, yeah, okay. Yeah, man, and uh, I don't know, man. It's 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 tough. Maybe 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 I'll say uh, maybe I'll say Oprah. Okay. Yeah. Oprah. Okay. Oprah, okay. Oprah, okay. In that category. <laughs> As, the people you're you, naming you can tell, are you can all, tell he's all about power yeah he, 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 and they're all not tell. afraid to be themselves right yeah in yeah, that category that. yeah be, i mean be, being yourself being yourself is key man especially mm-hmm. nowadays where we're so connected to social media and we're so about putting out this persona mm-hmm. that's not truly us a persona that we can't even keep up Right. And we're also always about chasing other people. And I feel like, yo, if you stay true to yourself and you be yourself, people are going to gravitate towards that. Because yeah. truthfully, yeah. people want to be themselves. Yeah. People Absolutely. want to be accepted. Right. You know what I mean? So, yeah. But, um, well, you, got, you got a question? Yeah, I was saying, mm-hmm. uh, just to piggyback on what he was just saying, like, mm-hmm. as far as social media, they built that so we can create this different individual of ourselves. Mm-hmm. Like if I want to be a rap star, I'm going to act like I'm a rap star on social media and mm-hmm. dress up and fly clothes. And then when you see me out in public, you be like, "Damn, homie, where the fuck is the diamonds at?" Mm-hmm. You know, what I mean? absolutely. <laughs> Those ain't bow wow wow challenge. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you absolutely yeah. right. And I and I and I uh, I'm going to speak on things like that. Uh, this uh, event I'm I'm doing. Uh, bro June code, 3rd, bro code. You okay. know, Absolutely. and I'm going to be talking to you know young men, young black men, uh, just young men in general from the age of 12 all the way up to 21, and just tell them, man, just be yourself. Yeah. Stop looking for acceptance in others. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When you accept who you are within yourself, that's when you're going to shine bright. Sure. Sure, man. I mean, if also if you live by people's opinion, you're also going to die with people's opinion. Correct. Like when mm-hmm. people leave you, like you, you're going to feel like you have nothing. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So Absolutely. people are fickle. And, mm-hmm. you know, you just got to stay true. You got to stay true to who you are. And your heart will tell you and your yeah. gut will tell you yeah. where Agreed. you need to be. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah, man. And um, so that's, that's, and that's and that's it goes into a good point. Um, So we get back to what we talked about earlier. And um, you spoke on that too. I'm um, about the heavily uh, publicized um, level of masculinity oh, yeah. um, word, being word, pushing word. us in in society. Um, you know, I even see now, like on a lot of posts now, um, women are calling men the new bitches, and you know, they they get into <laughs> this, whole, this whole this whole thing real. now. It's like men are not allowed to show emotion because once we're allowed to show emotion, all of a sudden we're we we're, we're too much. We're doing too much. We're we're emotional. Sure. And you spoke on that a lot, so I think that's one of the things I do want to talk because even you know with the untimely death of uh, you know Vicious V mm-hmm. and a lot of other heroes that are, that have been you know due to gun violence and things of that nature mm-hmm. over something very minuscule. Yeah. Um, to touch on that issue and, and how do you feel about that now? Where do you see us going, or where do you see made the solution made live? Sure. I mean, I, I guess I just will give a little brief. Um, mm-hmm about like my, my video, my first video on Toxic Masculinity dealt with Menace to Society, you right. know what I mean, which is a hood classic. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite movies, mm-hmm. especially of that um, that 90s period. Mm-hmm. But if you really look back and you analyze Menace to Society, these brothers aren't killing, these, killing each other over money, mm-hmm. over drug territory, mm-hmm. even over 
any real any real family feuds. Like if you go back to ancient society, it's about families beefing over family territory. Right. You know, uh, natural resources. Mm -hmm. They aren't beefing and kill each other about any of that. It's literally over pride. Mm -hmm. It's over pride. And toxic masculinity is defined as, most of all, out of everything it touches, is defined as the phobia of being labeled weak. Mm -hmm. And when, to, for, for a man to avoid being labeled that in a lot of situations, he will do anything or, or, or even go to the point of killing mm -hmm. another person mm -hmm. to not be labeled that. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and, and I think it's a trap, man. It's mm -hmm. a trap. And a lot of the things that... that Society says you have to do to be a man is literally just being a responsible adult. People say, you know, you need to be able to take care of your family and provide for your kids. Does that necessarily make you a man or a responsible adult? You know, right. you lay with a woman and you have a kid, take care of the kid, be responsible. Right. You know what I mean? Um, Redirect, but, redirection of energy. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes, yes, sir. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it's crazy and, and people be... The thing is, like, when you tell a, tell a man you can't cry, right, at a young age, you know, my uncle's friend, I remember religiously, he used to just come up to me. As soon as he dapped me up, he used to punch me in my chest mm -hmm. for no reason. Mm -hmm. And he would say, yo, this is going to make you tougher or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. But uh, when you tell a young kid that, that, that he can't cry, when you tell a young man he can't cry, that takes away a natural option away from him. Mm -hmm. So then that's going to open, when you close that door, that's going to open the other door for depression, mm -hmm for abuse of drugs, for abuse of people, for, you know, for, for anything. So, I mean, I, I think, I think you, you, of course, you, you let a young man learn his lessons, you know. You, yeah. you, you give him, a, you, you know, you give him football, you give him basketball. Mm -hmm. You know, he's going to get into some fights, but also let him know that there's a proper way and there's a cool way mm -hmm. to express yourself. Right. You know what I mean? And so I, I think uh, that's one way we can get rid of toxic masculinity. Okay, I like I like that. That's, that's, I like that. that was dope how he put that. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Cause shh, from from birth, you know us men we we grown we grown up or for Christmas we'll get presents like guns, yep. knives, mm -hmm. swords. Yeah, that's that's teaching us to be you know a man. Mm -hmm. And like I was saying, like a woman they would get baby dolls. Yeah, broomsticks, you know dish dish dishes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's it's crazy you, how you just broke that down, and that's real. That was real right there. Mm -hmm. And the thing about it is, is that even in that instant of you taking a man's life, you're still showing emotion, whether yeah. you like it or not. And I think that's what a lot of people don't understand. Um, and actually, by you using a gun, honestly, to me, I believe it's weak because you don't know how to, you know, you don't know hand to hand combat. You don't know how, mm -hmm. you know, what I mean. You don't know how to how to defend yourself in a proper way, so we only use those things. But then, where the, where does that you know keep us at? And I kind of like was speaking on that now, you know, with the whole police brutality yep. and everything that's going on now. I feel like some way they're trying to aid us into trying to make us do something in a certain type of way, so mm -hmm. therefore we can use you know you see mass you know what I mean uh, termination. But we're doing it sure. ourselves ourselves in our own neighborhoods, but. At a bigger scale, it could possibly be if we sure. don't use our minds. You know what I'm saying? And we need brothers like you. Hey, man, I appreciate that. Dude, we appreciate need brothers that. like you, man. Appreciate that, man. We need you. We need you. You know what I mean? We need you on title, man. We need you. You know what I mean? We need you out there, man. You definitely. know what I mean? It's definitely spreading the message because I think it's a something. You know what I mean? A lot of people. It's not like you. Yeah, you're, you're not preaching mm -hmm. because we also know that you know when you become too preachy. People get turned people off. People get turned off. People <clears> get bored <throat> because now it starts to sound too gimmicky. Yeah. And the fact that the way that you're doing it in a way that's almost not to downplay it, but it's almost like a, Ella, you know, elementary school is kind of like sure. because you're showing pictures, you're flashing words, but, <laughs> but you know, it's a way that even if you're illiterate, you still can get the message. Yeah, you know sure. what I'm saying? It's so refreshing. right. You know what I mean? So it's like uh, we we definitely need we definitely need more of that man. And whatever it is that we can do. To help push that, you know, yeah. here at Pipeline Radio, we are definitely going to be willing to do that because if everybody did, we don't have no listeners. <laughs> <laughs> so we need to keep our listeners alive, right. and we need to make sure we keep pumping this positive message, man. So I definitely want to give you a handshake for that as well. Appreciate that, boss. Appreciate Absolutely, that. Man. Appreciate that. 
You know, we got a few minutes, man. So you definitely want to call and holler at Guillotine, man. Make sure you help at 404-436-1277, man. Holler at Guillotine, man. Um, shout out to the rest of your people again um, that's, that's affiliated with that, man. Oh, yeah. Um, of course, my, my brother, uh, my brother Theo, mm -hmm. um, a young woman um, by the name of Neely Servant is a great creative director, producer, mm -hmm. teacher in D.C. She, she's bringing up these kids and, you know, keeping them aligned in their purpose. Mm -hmm. um, shout out to Six Point Pictures. Shout out to Good News Baltimore. Um, I just, you know, I just have a, a great uh, system behind me, man. What w up. wonderful team of creatives mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, shooters and directors and writers, man. You know what I mean? Oh, also, um, shout out to Al, shout out to Dunn, um, shout out to the whole Verve session. Uh, uh, yeah, I mean, everybody, for real, everybody. <laughs> so what's the longest so, you spent doing mm. editing just one video? Man, it, uh, yo, it's, it's, it, it's... It's weird, man. It's weird. I mean, like the the menace to society joint. Mm -hmm. I was dealing with my grandmother's passing. You know, throughout oh, yeah, like I would definitely. literally have to, um, you know, I would be editing and I would go see my grandmother in the hospital and come back. So that probably took maybe like two or three weeks. Mm. Um, and plus, I just wanted, I wanted to pay homage to the film. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. I, I respect. I think you have to have respect for the material. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like when you cover something like you know, reasonable doubt or menace to society. Like, I just have immense respect for these creators. You know what I mean? And that was another blessing as well for, for the um, for brother, for Alan Hughes, mm -hmm. to see it, you know what I mean, and give me the shout-out on um, on Twitter. You know what I mean? It's another blessing, man. So that means they definitely, you know, they looking for you. You got their ear now. Yeah. Hey, man, I'm, I'm yeah. trying, man. I'm trying, man. <laughs> you trying. You trying. You doing it. You know what I mean? Trying, Anytime man. they took time out to tweet it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Retweet it. Absolutely. You did it, brother. I appreciate that, man. Well, it's a definitely classic that. film. So what's the bigger, so what's the big scheme of things? What's, what's, what's the, what's the big, the big finale? What's the one thing that you want to, at, at the end of the day, that's the one thing you want to be known for? Like, what's, what's the big project? What's the, what's the. What's the cherry on top? What's what's the next? Oh man, I I, I just want to inspire people to, to get aligned with their purpose, man. Because you like you just said, mm -hmm. um, a lot of us are in a cycle of self destruction. I mm -hmm. believe, especially as young black men and women, when we get aligned with our purpose, it helps us not make bad decisions, mm -hmm. to not go to that party that that could be the thing to get us derailed or mm -hmm. take this or get aligned with these type of people. Being aligned in my purpose and knowing that I have a reason for being here kept me out of a lot of trouble, mm -hmm. helped me avoid a lot of bad things. Mm -hmm. And so if I can help people to be aligned with who they're supposed to be and become who they're supposed to be, mm -hmm. amen. I, I, I'm blessed. Absolutely. Elaborate on that purpose. Tell these people what that purpose is. Like, okay. basically is what? Um, my, my personal purpose or their purpose? <laughs> their, their purpose. What I mean is okay. people probably like purpose. What do you mean by purpose? Especially my fans. What? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean by purpose is what I took from it is that sure. gift that God gave you. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, I, I think we all, we all have a reason for being here. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, whether it's a, a lot, of, a lot of us, when we, when we tell our destiny, of course, black people, because of the way we were. Um, we came through in this country. We just think entertainment and sports. Mm -hmm. But um, you know, like I, I, I just, I just say like read as much as you can. You know, like what college. The, the greatest benefit I think what college allows you to do is network and figure out not only what you're supposed to be doing, what you, what, what you're not supposed to be doing. I went into college wanting to write the scripts for video games, mm -hmm. and I came out the other end on journalism. Wow. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So, like, I feel like just expose yourself to as many books. Um, and, you know, especially we got YouTube out here. Thank God for YouTube, man. We got <laughs> we got tutorials. Yeah, I, we got Google I out here. I got a documentary in a couple of uh, <laughs> YouTube University. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. Absolutely. Right. You know, like, just, just mm -hmm. exposure things. I mean, now we got this this great Smithsonian Museum, um, the African American man, History I Museum in D.C. Man, I definitely got to get out there, man. Definitely got to get out there. I've heard several legends about it. Like, mm -hmm. I've heard people have spent an entire day on one floor, mm -hmm. man. Just, right. just expose yourself and know, um, know you come from royalty mm -hmm. and know that you come from greatness. And anything that you can dream about, you can create. You know what I mean? Right. And whatever you wake up, and you feel it's on your heart, that's probably what you're supposed to be doing. Right. Every day I wake up and I feel like I have another story to tell. Right. I have another thing to cover. I have another thing to talk about. So, you know. Is it true out there you have to wait an hour to get in that uh, Smithsonian? 
Hey man, I, I don't know. You I, gotta I, wait a year yeah. to get tickets, so I so ain't gotta, gonna hurt. So you gotta wait a year to get tickets. Also? It's like every six month cycle. Yeah, I mean, like if if you if you do some Google searches, it's people out there giving trips. Like you pay like a flat rate of thirty dollars, and they give you like a public school box box lunch and put you on a gray right. take you down there. Oh, right. So yeah. I'm trying to man. They go to plug y'all, so y'all know how to get out there earlier. Yeah, because like they said, you know, they they was when they was explaining it, uh, the museum to me. I'm not gonna spend too much time on it, but um, they were just saying you know it's a life-altering experience yeah. mm -hmm. because they go where no one has gone before like yeah. from slavery like they, they told me they got parts of the ship down it's, it's a it's a, a whole thing experience but you definitely can't do it all in one day yeah they said it's definitely like praying like a two or three day um event to see the whole museum but wow. mm -hmm. So um, um next family trip. Yeah, you definitely got because I definitely gotta make it out there myself, man. But um Yes sir. Definitely show where they can uh find you again. Um YouTube, Mason Diction Entertainment, mm -hmm. um, Instagram, Guillotine, Twitter, Guillotine, uh also on Facebook, Mason Diction Entertainment. And you can find, you know, what what I'm what I'm doing is what's also what my brother's gonna be. He's about to start chiming in mm -hmm. and uh showing you how gifted and multi talented he is as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, man, that's where you can find me. And uh, yeah, that's what's, where I live. What's the, so, what's the next video we expect to see? Um, I I kind of want to want to get into um probably another video essay. I don't really want to speak on it too much. Okay. But um, I I, I do I do want to kind of go into. I think the next video will will be helping people. I'll just say that. Hopefully, mm -hmm. hopefully. Well, I think that's, all that's, your that's what, videos help I people. <laughs> yeah, I, I it's try. gonna be a it's gonna be like some Tony Robbins like that. It's gonna be like that though. Yeah, you know, <laughs> I hope so, man. Absolutely. Well, this is your man, DJ Twiz the Biz, man, aka Twizzy Hendrix. Yeah. Comedian AP in the building. And this is the man, Guillotine, man. We definitely hope and glad you guys are joining in. Hope you guys enjoy. Make sure y'all check back in, man, with the whole family that be here. We love you. Peace. Appreciate that. Good show. Thanks, man. I appreciate the opportunity.